Welcome, gentlemen, to the most pathetic, the most vile, the most despicable rant in the history of the rant, gentlemen. Week four is in the books. <laughs> and the ranting deeks have yet to post a winning week. <laughs> Since we're in the mood to insult, we're going to do a little impression of... Go on, Hayden. Of Joel's fantasy football log. Are you ready? Here we go. Dude. Dude, I cannot believe Von Seal is calling at 5 a.m. <laughs> like, doesn't she know that people are doing fantasy football logs at 5 a.m.? <laughs> it's... 5 a.m. is like, you set that time aside, and you do fantasy football logs. Stop. People should not be calling at that time. <laughs> Stop. Stop that. Hayden, I'm doing the, the rant, please. I'm doing the rant. Please. <laughs> okay. So, in the theme of this being the most pathetic season in fantasy football history, <clears throat> not a single winning team, not a single winning week, Gentlemen, uh, I'm going to do the top five horrible things that have happened this fantasy football season. Number five, Jamal Charles was on four of my teams. <laughs> That's an, That could be a valid explanation for what's going on with the rest of it. Um, number four. Uh, number four. The Lance Kendricks incident. Let me let me explain. Lance Kendricks was one of my choices who ended up being horrible. But in place of Lance Kendricks, uh, I said, eh, give me Mason Foster. Mason Foster turned out to be the reason why I was... Mason Foster turned out to be drafted, would have been a good rookie for that slot. So, after the draft was over, I said, eh, I told uh, Brian... Just go ahead and throw uh, Tory Smith in there, and uh, and that leads us to number three. In the first two weeks of the season, Tory Smith was inactive. Keep in mind, we're talking about a rookie slot here. Any production is good production, and since he was inactive for the first two weeks, I went ahead and dropped him. Let's move on. Number two. <clears throat> I had already clinched up a win. I was ahead by 15 points with Romo going against Dez and Dallas D. Ship it, right? No, lost by eight. But nothing compares to the number one worst thing that happened this fantasy football season. I was up, I was playing against Rocky and Baffle. Rocky of all people. I was ahead by 25 points. We each had a defensive player going, which was a wash. And Rocky had Dan Bailey. Dan freaking Bailey. Romo couldn't get it in the end zone. Bailey kick after kick after kick after kick. And when all is said and done, tragedy averted. I won by 1.2 points, gentlemen. The next day, the points updated. Tragedy averted yet again. I was ahead by a tenth of a point, gentlemen. But, as you all may know, stats correct themselves. And because Brian gives minus two tenths and plus two tenths for a completed pass, minus two for an incomplete pass, Sanchez's stats were updated on Thursday after I had already chalked up the victory. And lo and behold, on Thursday, I'm one and two instead of two and one. Minus two tenths, and I lost by a tenth, gentlemen, to Rocky. And that, my friends, is the definition of fantasy bullshnikey, gentlemen. So, uh... Daddy, get this off. Don't... I don't want to hear you crying about your woes. If you can top the Sanchez story, I'd like to hear it, gentlemen. Adios. Adios. Ah, uh, let me see, Dad. Say adios. Ah. Uh